Hello, my name is Wendy, and we're going to, we, I'm going to do a reading for, who is that? The Aries. All right, Aries, welcome. I'm going to start out with an angelic light worker card to, this one is popping out for me. Third Eye Awakening. This card's been popping up a lot. Beautiful card. Feels like um, higher chakras opening up and creating new ways of seeing things, um, new ways of seeing yourself, new ways of seeing your world. Wow, beautiful. And then let's go to the Animal Oracle Power Deck and see who your, what animal wants to help guide this reading today. Ooh, bear, boundaries, stand your ground. Grr. Look at that fella or mama. So large, strong, you would not mess with that bear. So it feels like my fiery friend, Aries, that um, that boundaries, learning how to protect yourself, learning how to stand up for yourself, learning how to set conscious boundaries with um, people. I think some of you might feel more like a teddy bear. And remember that you can be teddy bear and grizzly bear and choose who who gets to see which aspect that you don't always have to be a teddy bear. Take all the cards that flipped out in the order. Mm. All right. Um, in the past, Aries, you have been moving on. I'm curious what you're moving on from. Feels like something, um, this is like eight of cups in the original tarot. In the original tarot, there are eight cups and um, the person is still walking away. There's nothing for them in those cups. So it feels like um, it feels like a difficult situation, hierophant, Taurus energy, oh structure. Um, it feels like you're moving away from a power dynamic and structure, a hierarchy where you are made to feel unequal and lower than someone else. Oh, it feels fives are often very uncomfortable. It doesn't feel like this is the, the structure that works for you. Uh, so it does feel like a, a work related. Um, and yet there's um, no emotional fulfillment in it. Uh, I'm hearing there's no fulfillment at all. Um, not being treated, treated less than. Uh, restrictive rules. 
um, I'm seeing that the, I'm drawn in also to the keys, that the keys, you have the key to what happens next. You have access to the key. I feel like the keys are your choice, but it feels like you're in the past, recent past, you've moved on. Right. Um, the business situation has uh, not been four pentacles is um, it's had you really focused on your money and lack of and that lack not feeling, it doesn't feel like you've been compensated um, correctly and emotionally depleted. Um, well, victory, six of wands. This feels like you know your worth, you know your value, you know you should be celebrated and victorious. Um, or you're beginning to understand this. And that's why this situation at work is even more painful. This is the nine of wands and it's just been exhausting. It feels like you're doing so much work, you're feeling beaten up. And there's a part of you in the past, um, it's like, is it worth all this? I feel just completely exhausted. I keep waiting to get benefit from this situation, this work situation, so I can come into empress mode. Um, so, and this, you can be an emperor, male, female, genderless, but it feels like you, you know your worth, you know your value, you know how abundant you are, you know how creative you are, you know how in connection with so much. And here's this fiery passion. And so you know your worth and value, but they didn't see it, didn't appreciate it, didn't appreciate you. Mm. All right. And Right now, you are in flow space. This feels like you're getting into your emotions, into your heart space. And I'm really drawn to the direction, like a compass behind him, trying to figure out, not trying to analyze which direction to go, but dipping into that um, intuitive space into emotions to, to guide you on your next step. The bottom of the deck, eight of wands. This feels like something could be coming in or has come in like a really quick idea, um, a, a, a new direction. It feels like coming to this um, conclusion in the near past that this place that you work at is unfulfilling, not the right fit. Um, having that realization is allowing something new to come in, realizing your worth and your value, not seeing your worth and 
and value as a reflection of how your job and the people there are treating you, but knowing your worth and value from that heart space. And once you cultivate that within yourself, then other people will see it, probably not this job that you're currently in, but then also the universe is like, oh yeah, you deserve more. You believe you deserve more. Here comes an offer. If you're still not at that spot where you see and feel your own worth and value, this might be the message from spirit to dip into that heart space. Um, journal what you appreciate about yourself, what you value, how worthy you are. I am worthy, I am valuable. I have so many talents and gifts. I'm lovable. I'm skilled. I appreciate me and others appreciate me. Things like that. Maybe even looking in the mirror and saying it until you start embodying and feeling that and not letting people you work with or anyone around you for that matter dictate uh, what you should do. So any clarification on flow? Any clarification? Hear it. All right. Those are some big jumpers. Okay. Yes. So the situation in the past was not three of pentacles. It was not um, a project where, so three of pentacles upright, you have like an intern and a skilled labor, people at different levels coming together because they need each other. So there isn't that hierarchy. There's a meeting of minds. And in reverse, I'm getting that you didn't have that. And you, what you're wanting is, I want people to see my value. Even if I am in an intern and less experienced, I want, the, I want to work with people who see my potential. And you're very intuitive, the high priestess. This feels like, um, so in the Hierophant, there's these structures and this feels very limiting to you. And the structures on either side of the high priestess are different. They let you explore all of who you are, your dark, your light, allow abundance, intuition, getting a real knowingness, Aries, that you, you have a real knowingness. And it looks like um, you really want to feel stable. Right now, you're not feeling financially stable even physically stable. And it's affecting your ability to get into your emotions. So I'm getting a lot of back and forth with these cards. Um, you have all these amazing attributes and skills and value. However, experiences have tainted your ability to see your own worth and value. 
You're recovering from Ten of Swords, a betrayal, backstabbing, something incredibly painful. It feels like it's it's um, right now you're recovering from this, and it does feel very intense. And two of pentacles in reverse it feels like um, you're tired of juggling. You're tired of. It feels like a lot of work. A lot of work to work. <laughs> I, it's just exhausting. Um, feels like you're ready to let this part of your life go. Your higher self is see the truth. See the truth of the situation. See the truth of who you are. I'm getting, once you really know your value and worth, then it'll be really easy to, easier to distinguish who, who's worthy of you, who's not valuing you, who doesn't see you clearly. Tear that apart, open that up and see the light. Maybe it feels like a um, letting go of situations, people, thoughts that are toxic and not working for you. Your challenge is to just breathe, to just be. Feels like a lot of painful scenarios that have been going on for a long time. And your challenge is to. be with that pain feel into it I'm feeling especially um, shoulders and back of heart space might be tense and aching and sending love receiving love from your higher self your ancestors. As I'm kind of putting all this together, so the angel card is third eye awakening. You're seeing things clearly. The animal guiding you right now is bear, setting boundaries. No, without needing to justify. No unavailable, no. And two other cards that popped out right now. It feels like you might be feeling alone and isolated. Feels like you might not know where your home is. Trying to find a home outside of yourself. Realizing that you have a light, your light, to guide you. It might feel right now that times are dark and there's just so much between you and where you want to go. Remember there's the moon, there's guidance and light. And you have your own light. And this feels like advice for next steps. Aries, fiery energy, take the lead. Nobody else is going to figure this out for you. Take leadership in your own life. Take authorship. 
Use that fiery passion, use that bare energy. And that wonderful intuition that you have. And, and remember that you have access to infinite potential and abundance. And here I choose what happens next. This feels like the fire in your belly. Like remember, like what is it that lights the fire in your belly? Stop listening to your thoughts because it uh, that are saying that. Well, I couldn't possibly do that. And I, you know, in the past that hasn't, I love doing whatever that fiery passionate thing is. I love that. I'm going to focus my energy there. That's what I want to do. I might have to stay in this situation, but I'm done with this. I'm focusing all my love, attention, focus on creating a new story for myself. Oh, I love that. That feels really good and really powerful. It feels very inspiring that you can take what you have experienced and um, create your next steps, your next story um, from this space. So, all right, that's the end of your reading. I hope this helped. Please like and subscribe. And I love comments if you want to share if this resonated with you. Thanks, bye Aries.